Let's go first. Pop these up. Uh, yeah, that seems really good, right? Uh, I think objectively we're supposed to lead on Death Rite Shaman just in case discourages our opponent from wastelanding us down one. Like, this hand's very good, but if we get wastelanded, we're just going to be very, very sad. Leading on Death Rite Shaman's also generally better against, like, Storm and stuff like that. I mean, I think Cabal Therapy is more powerful than Thought Seizes in a lot of contexts, even without Young Pyromancer, especially in conjunction with, um, you know, Gataxian Probe in the deck. Like, being able to take every copy of something out of their, out of their deck is pretty huge. <coughs> what you got? Bird of Paradise. So, probably... Probably a Lurin. Could be Food Chain, too, I guess. Land would be great. That's perfect. So. I'm going to go ahead and eat this. I think we're just going to go guy guy here. Yeah, I'm just going to go guy guy. I'm going to play this one around to days. Oh, that was a mistake. I, uh, I just had to land it on my own discard pile when they had a fetch land up there. So should have eaten, should have eaten it out of their discard pile for sure. Um, it could be a Lurin. I played one one Bird of Paradise in my Lurin deck. <clears throat> Brainstorm. I'd be aggressive in Daze this, I think, if they didn't have the Bird here. Let's see what they have going on. Probably Dazing just like any 2-drop they could play here. Just want to get value out of these before they get dead. Generate some Pyromancer tokens as well. Also, if we daze a land back to our hand, we can brainstorm it and then fetch for it. Kind of thin it out, basically. So if they play a one drop without playing a land, they played a land. Okay, hopefully they play a two drop here. Or two one drops. I'd take either at this point. If they just, like, play Death Rage Shaman Pass, that would be bad for us because it blocks my guys. Scrub land is interesting. Abrupt decay. That would be annoying. That's yeah, annoying. Okay. Well, that was the worst case scenario, I think. Trigger. Yes, I would. I would love to reveal this card. Um, yeah. So I think we're just gonna go like shoot your thing. Get my pyromancer back, right? I've got a delta over here. I can do. Did guy else fine? It's like I've been enjoying. I have never really played a Delver deck, so I've been enjoying playing that. Uh, deal. Return target creature from your graveyard to your hand. Oh, I gotta make mana with this first. Because this is not a mana ability, so you have to do it first. Doop, doop, doop. Return. Shock. That makes these dazes a bit better, too. Brainstorm, sure. Hopefully they don't have more abrupt decays. <clears throat> this is likely a Lurin, based on what I've seen out of their deck so far. Scrubland's kind of interesting. A lot of them don't play that, but... What do you think of Sneakage? I think it's worse than the Reanimator decks on average. Um, at least that's been my experience playing with the deck lately. Sneaky Show's been putting up better results than Blue Black Reanimator, but I'm not exactly sure why that is. That could be a symptom of Magic Online, too. Alright, so we're going to start by exiling that. Making red. Go ahead and cast this young Pyromancer. Go ahead and brainstorm some of these dazes away, most likely. I have a force. I'm thinking about forcing this. That's annoying. Um, huh. You know, I, I honestly think that's fine. Um, we... I, I should brainstorm. I should have brainstormed in response there. If I hit a force, I'm going to feel bad. Okay, we didn't hit a force, so that's whatever. Uh, these cards are not great, though. 
think we're going to go ahead and put Brainstorm back and Bolt back and hold these dazes for now since we can't shuffle them anyways. Might as well hold them up since we're going to get to Wasteland them this turn. And take them off the green source in case they are playing a Lurin. They're going to need double green for that. All signs are still pointing to a Lurin. Next turn, our death rate will be able to cut off their death rate. They have a wasteland of their own. That's interesting. It's like a Jace. God, how good is this? How does that feel? What do we think? How do we feel about that daze? Like, that's real interesting. Like, they haven't given me an opportunity to daze anything, and then, like, their first play is, like, Jace. It's just 10 color crap. I, I'd, I'd accept that as 10 color crap. Pyroblast sounds good against 10 color crap. Click is probably fine. Cabal Therapy is probably fine. Daze seems medium minus, especially on the draw. Fire Covenant is probably fine. Maybe Trim of Force. I think I just want these five in. The Grim Lava Mancer is probably not bad. Do I need uh, do I need the third therapy? Probably trim the third force before the third therapy. We're gonna see their hand and be able to sequence therapies before removal a lot of the time. So I think I'm gonna give this a try. I can see Fluster Storms being okay or Diabolic Edict, maybe. I like leaving in some forces in these fair matchups just because, like, there are some games where you can just, like, ride the Delver to victory and force lets you do that a little bit better. You also, like, some fights you can't afford to lose. Like, this is, like, a true name nemesis answer, kinda, because it can just, like, force their true name. <clears throat> this hand's real bad. This hand's fine. Bolt. Um, I think I have to bottom that. We're looking for like a cantrip or a death rate or something here. Probe, etc. Ponder. Um, hmm. Might just wasteland them. Yeah, I'm just going to wasteland them. I didn't do anything on the first turn of the game. Because they're probably not going to do anything on the second turn of the game. Sure. I'm playing a Culligan's Command in the main deck because uh, decks like Deathblade and other grindy decks have become more popular online in response to Grixis Delver being very well positioned. So Culligan's Command's a main deck card that can kind of grind and like occasionally it does things like kill a um, kill an LED that they've played out to play around Cabal Therapy or makes the combo opponents discard a card at least. This Bird of Paradise keeps throwing me. <clears throat> All right, let's lead on ponder, see what we find. Bolt, death right, and land. I feel like I don't really want any of these. I'm kind of just looking for like a pyromancer or a probe here. Command's not the worst. <clears throat> Needs another land, but it's whatever. There's probably Stoneforge Mystics in their deck. Sure. Umazawa's Jite. Am I going to be able to get to three mana before... Probably. Probably they're pretty far off. I could just force their first threat that's going to have power. Another Cabal Therapy. Well, I guess... We're leading on that, then. Hopefully they don't have another Wasteland. I don't know what we're naming here. Normally you'd name Brainstorm, but they've already played one. Death Rate's probably a guaranteed four of in their deck, so I guess I'm going to name that. I feel like they'd probably lead on Bird over Death Rate, and then they haven't had another opportunity to play a Death Rate. Probably Death Rider Ponder here. Why isn't there? Did I go past it? Death Rider Shaman, there we go. It would be really nice if there was just a search box there. Rest in peace. That's real good. And there's a daze here too, so oh, they're going to appear on the side. 
Well, huh. Well, we're dead. Yeah, we're not. We're not exactly dead. We're mostly dead here. Because they get to stick true name with days. Hopefully they just play rest in peace. Wouldn't be ideal. No, they're playing the true name. Okay. And I can't I can't just force that because we know they have a days in their hand. And you're another land. That's a good start. Play that. Uh, cast this name rest in peace. Yeah, okay, Stoneforge Mystic. You're not. We're up again. We're up again. Okay, get out of here. Maybe I'm supposed to force this. We're pretty far out of this game. Let's get the Ancient Grudge in our deck since we confirmed that they're a Stoneforge Mystic deck. We didn't see that in the first game when we killed them. Diabolic Ink doesn't seem very good against the deck that has... Um, what's it called? The opponent's playing a lot of really expensive spells, so we're definitely bringing some dazes in here on the play. We've got two cuts to make here. Fire Covenant is probably a little bit dangerous against the deck with counter spells on it. Maybe clicks a little expensive. Yeah, I like this. I think it's a little medium, but it's got a bolt for their first play. It's got a probe so we can know what we're playing around. And if we hit a, um, no, I, 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 formats are, that are better or worse are, I, I should have probed or let on this so I could bolt his turn one thing here. Although I guess bolting this, like, they showed us they have days in their deck, so I guess I'm going to wait here and see. Although if I would have, if I would have let on this, I could have bolted this plus wastelanded them, which would have been good. Rest in peace. That's a pretty good hand. Stays is a good draw. Uh, notably, they don't have an answer to this uh, true name nemesis. Man, remember that time I just played my lands in the completely wrong order? Pepperidge Farm remembers. Um, yeah, I definitely, I definitely should have played my lands in a different order here. I kind of wanted to lead on this in case because they're a wasteland deck and we had extra lands and I wanted that one to get wastelanded first, but definitely a mistake, 10 out of 10. Yeah, that's fine. The rip death rate shaman combo, right? The problem here is he has a brainstorm in his hand. Uh, Wasting really doesn't do anything. I guess I can daze. I can daze the brainstorm. That's pretty good, right? So I could do, I could cast therapy and then daze the brainstorm. He's got, he's got plow, stone forge, um, plow, stone forge, rest in peace are three of the cards that I know about. He's got one card I don't know. Return the trap because I would like both of these two to be in play. I think we just take the stone forge with stick here, right? Because, like, the rip turns off his death right shaman. It turns off my Gurmag Angler, too, but... I 
feel like Stoneforge is his way to win the game. Yeah, I mean, you have Tree of Next Turn. Yep. Yeah. Yep. This deck so heinous. It has another Brainstorm. Okay. So, BS, Rip, Plow. The brainstorm's really kind of annoying because it gives him a bunch of shots to find a, a daze for this true name. Yeah. If he doesn't play the rip here, we'll probably just stick the Gurmag to draw out the plow. Do you like the second true name over spell pierce slash dismember? Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm playing the second true name over the spell piercer. <laughs> um... I, I hate when people phrase questions like that because you're like you're like, well, do you like this thing that you're currently doing? It's like, yeah, I like it. That's why I'm that's why I'm doing it. I wouldn't I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't like it. Um, but to be less less slightly less defensive, um, I think the true name allows you to steal games in matches that are hard for you. So I think we're just like playing this Gurmag into a daze because otherwise he's gonna rip us next turn and then it won't matter, right? Yeah, like if he plows this, the next turn we just go like true name Delver. Right. Man. Alright, and he did brainstorm lock himself last turn, so he doesn't have a lot of new ones coming. And like I said, we're fine with running that in there because then it clears up our other things for days later. That's a good draw. I bet they shuffled away their rest in peace. Better skull. Yep. Yeah, probably. Can I draw a cabal therapy? <laughs> Lightning bolt. That's pretty good too. That's pretty good. Um. So I just lead on true name here, right? Yeah. Ten out of ten. Are you supposed to waste them too, or not? I guess. No, we're gonna bolt. We're gonna bolt this, right? This one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pick you. You know, people love to make that joke about me playing Brainstorm and it's a surprise. I never said I wasn't going to play Brainstorm. My initial complaint years ago is that the Brainstorm decks are a lot better than the non-Brainstorm decks, which is just, like, objectively true in Legacy. Like, these decks that are playing... There's a reason why we're both playing Brainstorm right now, right? Like... Does he have a land here? Yeah, he does. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, I think I'm supposed to bolt this still. Yeah. Like, he has to break a land here? Yeah, if he bricks a land... I assume that the rest of these could be on top of his library right now, though. That could be the card, because he's locked, right? He shuffled from the oh, Stoneforge, stone yeah. Right. Hopefully he kept the rest in peace. You know, fingers crossed. Yeah. There's the land, so they get to cast the Batter Skull here. I've got Grudge and Cake Command in my deck, though, so you know. I also have a, it's a true name. True yeah. Yeah. And then he's going to suit up the Bird of Paradise and kill you. <laughs> yep. Yeah, this is so bold, he's going to, like, run it right into a daze here. Oh, red? I guess we're just clicking any color so we can cast this. Yeah. All right. 10 out of 10. Man, there's no justice in the world. All right, well, let's play this. And I think I want to waste them off of color here. Probably the trop. I guess we're not taking them off of color, so it really doesn't matter. All right, well, they didn't equip, which is good for us. Cabal therapy. Yep, they have a plow in their hand. Yeah. It's unfortunate. We knew about that. From earlier, maybe I should have waited on the Delver because of because I have therapies and knew about the plow. That's probably correct. One. One K command and the ancient grudge to the big point here? Yep. Not the worst. No, it's not the worst, yep. I'm gonna save this therapy for when we have a young pyromancer. Yeah. This fights with their death rate at least.
They might hear you, Matthew. Give it to the bird, idiot. No one with his favorite card. What did I say? Okay. Deal. Sure. Man, legacy's great. Oh, God. And I guess I'm holding that in case he does he figure out he should yeah. equip, yeah. Jesus Christ. Can they figure out that better school has tech? True Ray Nemesis does commander damage, right? If only. Oh, we got another one? Jace. You got a Pyroblast. Oh, they're fetching and then they're equipping? I think they're fetching and equipping. They have two cards or one? One card. Okay. I just drew it. And remember that time it took him six turns to figure out they should equip this, so we got him? Yeah, get him, get him. Pepperidge Farm remembers. God. What a beat Unfortunately, they don't lose the germ in this exchange, but it is what it is. Come on, grudge your K-Command so we could really punish oh, this line. Slaughtered by it, yeah. <sighs> do, 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 do. God, that was his gas. True man? Yeah, probably. Did you figure out how we're tapping? Please don't have a counter. Jeez, all right. We get two draws at uh, the good ones again. All right. That's fine. Sure. That's okay. Well, I mean, you get to get the card out of their hand. No, I don't. I, there's a rest in peace to play. Oh. <laughs> what, what's the name here? I don't know. Forza Will? I don't actually know. It's like... I didn't see game one, so I don't know what they have. I assume Force is in their deck, though. Um, Would they kept that? They could re abrupt decay is a card they could have, but haven't cast yet. Like, not had a good target for it. That's fair. Is there, there's not another Jake that would try to jam it? Yeah, they would have played that last turn, too. So, yeah, I'm going to abrupt decay. That's fair. Woo! <laughs> I am a master! <laughs> Woo! All right. Sorry. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. I just, you know, needed to... Uh, Run through the logical deductions there and then shove it inside my opponent. Jeff is actually the master of fucking blind cabal therapies. Look, you tell those stories. You just look around because and you just look around and you're like, all right, what what yeah. could they? Man, this Grimlock match game. is really good against this rest in peace. That's really nice. Oh no, not another death right shaman. Now they can race my one death right shaman. Oh wait. Can I just draw can can I just draw a flipping uh Dude, what's it called? They're gonna draw toxic deluge at some point and I'm gonna cry, but this is what it is. At least you won. You won the lottery of the replica lot of was good. No. So good. Uh, have we cast any cantrips this game? No. Act actual factual zero. We're one probe. We've cast one probe. Oh, don't be deluge already. I'd rather have been deluge. Yeah, right. <sighs> well, you know. Sometimes they get it. Whoa! Please be K command in a land. Please be K command in a land. Please be K command in a land. <sighs> nope, I do not. All right, you know, I'm, I'll have to go back and relook at that. I probably, I think the important miss sequence this game was I played the Delver out knowing they had the plow in their hand 
and we could have drawn into Cabal Therapy to take the plow, and that's exactly what happened. So we got plowed, and then we had Cabal Therapies that we couldn't use efficiently. And, like, if I would have had a Delver to flip there, we, like, went back and forth enough turns that Delver would have just killed them. Were you dead a lot sooner if your opponent knew how his cards worked? With the Delver? With the Delver? I'm not trying to, I'm sorry, that was rude. That was rude. <laughs> like, if he knew that how, like, if, if he would equip the battery. I mean, if they didn't have Rest in Peace in their Death Rite Shaman deck? I mean, besides <laughs> their expert deck probably got both things. Was there, like... Was he, were you just dead to battle scroll race anyways, though? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's true or not. I don't remember the whole sequence. Yeah, I think if he would have equipped the battle scroll right away, we were probably dead. dead. Right, right. Yeah, I think so. There's like zero decks that run pretty straight up. Like, right. All right. I'm gonna. I'm. I'm feeling really generous right now, so I'm gonna give you one warning, damn. How, in on God's green <laughs> earth, am I supposed to assume? That the 4x Death Right Shaman deck is boarding in Rest in Peace against me. Just like, lay it out there for me. Lay, no. lay it, put it on the table. Explain. To be fair, he did want you blind name Abrupt Decay. <laughs> so, I, so I should be, I should be clairvoyant. Yep, that's, that's reasonable. I am all for reasonable suggestions, but what you are making is not a reasonable suggestion. Okay, let me rephrase. Your suggestion is reasonable if we know they have Rest in Peace in their deck. But how how on earth am I supposed to know there's Rest in Peace in their deck, right? Just like... This is why we're the most fun team to play at against the team in the Man, I muted myself because I was chewing. Unlike most streamers, I don't make you listen to me chew. We're probing to find out how good this wasteland is. Not at all. Oh, good, the unwinnable matchup. It's real bad. It's real bad. Um... I think I'm just playing this in passing. Want to want to brainstorm into like Bolt plus. Um, where are their thought scours? He must be playing like a fistful of Bedlam Revelers, right? But you can't play Bedlam Revelers with Grim Lava Mancer. That was a good draw. This is to make up for the 5-0 I had last night, isn't it? Just the the lose to the the run colds, the, the run colds yep. But I mean, like, Cryptic Serpent's a non-bow with the Grim Lava Mancer, too. This is fine. Like, what do you have? Pop is the only card left in his hand? And the Murray Plots card you don't care about? So, whether, whether, whether or not you think something should change in Modern next week, depends on whether or not you think the current format, whether or not you think how linear the current format is, is a bug or a feature. If you think the current format being very linear is a feature, then hey, it probably doesn't need to change. Um, Can you not brainstorm on the end step? No, I had to brainstorm on the end step. I see one less card that way. No, we definitely want to brainstorm on our turn. I, I think we're pretty dead here. Because we need to find two things. We need to find a fetch land and a land. Like, I can't just, like, I guess I can play stuff out and just, like, eat hits from this. But, like, I could play Delver off of a Valkyr, but, like, I don't want to cut myself off of red. I mean, like, there's a difference between, like, Deathrite Shaman and Grim Lava Mancer. And I'm not, like, I'm not sure if... If you think playing Deathrite Shaman and... If you think playing Death Rage Shaman and Tarmogoyf is the equivalent to playing Grim Lava Mancer, something that exiles multiple cards from your crypt with something that, like, needs lots of things in your crypt, is remotely the same, you, you should just leave. Like, I'm just not going to get into it with you. Uh, I, th I think I'm doing this. I'm going to cast this Delver to give his stupid thing something to do. We're pretty dead. They have a price in their hand. Yeah, they have a price... Man, this is my favorite. I love, I love just banning people. Let's get out of here. Do you like magic? Do you like sharing magic? It's really fun. 
<laughs> it's really fun. Yep. I love, see, other streamers are so desperate for people to watch them that they're just like, they put up with so much bullshit from the chat. And it's just like, I don't care if you're here. I am here because I love playing magic and I like interacting with reasonable people. But if you're going to be unreasonable, you don't have to be here. <laughs> It's just, it's really pretty straightforward. Like, I don't get paid anywhere nearly enough to, like, put up with bullshit from people. Like, my salary is not high as a Twitch streamer. Alright, so their hand right now is Price of Progress and then some Mystery Cards. We can at least go, like, Pyromancer into Therapy next turn. And take their pop away. Yep. Maybe. Until it dies to this. It's going to make one idiot and flashback the therapy. So I guess that's fine. It's I'm going to take two cards out of their hand. Daze is a good draw here. It lets us fight through an opposing Daze or Force. And actually, I hope they have a Daze or a Force because then um, we get an extra token out of this nerd. Yeah. Four cards. Yep. Hopefully two of them are Price of Progress. Something else for. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Maybe we have a chance. Maybe. Maybe there's we're gonna we're gonna take that away. Oh yeah, you have that stupid shit. I the people that aren't playing Cabal Therapies in their main deck is just like I I'm I pick I when I got the cards from Traders tonight I got a fourth therapy because I'm pretty sure we're just supposed to be playing four therapies. You know we could we could lose this game too and it'll be fine because we've just like slaughtered our opponents with. Token. Yeah, maybe. If they cast it main phase without killing the, if they cast it without using the pyre, yeah, it really is pyre mancer for smart. Yeah. Yep. Pretty sure we're gonna be obligated to jump this here. I think. Yeah, we just want to try and keep ourselves out of range. Usually they only have two to three prices in their main deck, I think. I think. So hopefully there's not too many more of those lurking. I'm just going to jump here, I think. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm going to stick the true name next turn. At some point. I feel like he would have dazed my daze there on the Swift Spear, so I'm just going to stick this while the sticking's good because it locks their Swift Spear out of the game. Hopefully this Brainstorm will find an answer to Lava Mancer next turn and, like, maybe we're in business. You know what the worst part about playing Legacy on Magic Online is? I can't F6 on their turn when I'm playing the blue decks, even when I don't have it, because, like, you have to represent it. I have no, no... I have very little desire to play any paper TCGs, much less learn a new one. Yep, down to eight. This is going to put me down to six. Do they shuffle that ponder? Real questions. Chose not to shuffle. All right, well... 
Hopefully this finds a answer to this. That's really unfortunate. So, I could put this back and put this back, waste them off of this Vulk that's untapped, the Grim Lava Mancer mean response, and then go Delver Delver this turn. Yeah, I kind of like that. And then they're going to have to shoot down the, spend time shooting down the Delvers, I think. Hopefully we don't just get burned out of the game by doing this. This takes them off a of red source too, so I guess the chances of getting burned out of the game are pretty low this way. So we're going to six here. And like, if he wants to kill these Delvers. <laughs> Get out of here, you're a monster. <laughs> He's got chain lightnings, there should be fork bolts in his main deck. Get post, post board. Like, fork bolts definitely a real thing. So we're flipping this to a brainstorm, and then we know our next card our next card down's a death right shaman. And then hopefully the next two include a lightning bolt. And hopefully our opponent finds garbage here and doesn't find a fetch land. And what can they find that's garbage and not a fetch land? I'm not actually sure. Actually, I probably want them to have a fetch because then one of their cards is a land. Interesting. Alright, sweet. I can auto pass because I know my card now. He bolted my dome. All right. Yes. Okay. All right. So now here's a real question. Am I supposed to brainstorm here? Because then we are dead to a burn spell if we don't find another blue card. We can attack first here. And they're, and they're dead on board, so they have to Grim Lava Mancer this. So I, th I think I just pass here, right? What does Death Ray Shaman do? Nothing. Yeah, I, th I think we're just supposed to pass here. Probably. You have to force their one burn spell <laughs> on top of their deck, probably. You know, Death I'm dead no How am I dead no matter what? They, they, they can't activate Lava Mancer and play a burn spell without a land, too. So they'd have to have land burn spell to kill me with a burn spell here through the force. I know, I know the force makes me take a damage. And now, and now if I brainstorm into a bolt, they're just dead. Because I hit them for six and then bolt them. Uh, is there any upside to... I should tap the Vulk because... Yeah, I have two. Bolt, please. I haven't played any... I haven't played any bolts yet. Well, they built me in response. Sure. But I mean, like, at this point, I have to play the Brainstorm. So, like, there's no guarantee that they have it. And if they have it, sure, we're dead. They've already played two bolts. Like. God, that's atrocious. Um, I put this back, and I put this back. And then he has to Lava Man one of these when I attack. And then I can crack the fetch and re-brainstorm and get three more looks at a bolt to kill them. Because this attack is lethal, so Grim Lava Mancer has to kill an insectile aberration. So we've got we've got three looks here. Alright, Papa would like three fresh ones. The freshest of cards. Have not played a single bolt yet. 
Look at that. Good, solid four lightning bolts right there. Can I at least... Can I at least get a redraw if we miss? That would be nice. Oh, baby, baby. Ooh, baby, baby. What a... Keep the probe. No, there's no probe. No, I don't want to, um... I don't want to get dazed. What a tight game. Please be dead. Woo! Remember when I said this game was unwinnable? And then we come off there and beat him and he had two person progresses. <laughs> oh, Legacy's great. Why do people play non-Legacy formats? I really don't understand. Um, so these seem fine. Um, I think the Edict's actually good. Forkbolt and Grim Lava Man seem fine. Flusterstorm could be okay. We're both kind of operating on low low mana. Uh, Coligan's Command seems pretty mediocre. Yeah, yeah, the people... I We started with a list that didn't have... Um, that didn't have... What's it called? Zenit Cabal Therapies. They were in the board. They weren't in the main deck. And, like, I've really liked having them in the main deck. Really, really liked it. All right, what do we think? Do we want any of the other counters? I like I like a mix of these post board, especially. Um, I think they're threat light enough that Diabolic Edict is reasonable. Yeah, like you want to kill the, the big fat dude too sometimes. I, pro I feel like I don't want a third therapy. No. The the two are probably fine. I mean, it just it won that game. I think True Name's great in these creature matchups. It's kind of slow, but, like, it holds the ground. It holds the door, Maddie. Jesus. <laughs> I feel like I... I feel like I'd rather have, like, Cake Man over one of the True Names. I don't know. I could be wrong. No, I think I... I think I want to be able to kill them. That's fine. This deck needs more Thrag Tusk. I mean, Thrag Tusk would be good in this matchup. If we had one, we'd bring it in. I can cast ca Thrag Tusk is super castable. Yeah, you have Death Rage Shaman. I have Death Rage Shaman. God bless. You know what? Black, black and blue needed a mana dork. Uh, yeah, this hand's fine. Their their deck it plays Price of Progress, so usually they don't play Wasteland. So I don't mind keeping this hand. I guess this hand's not even that weak to Wasteland since we have Death Rage Shaman on one. And they mulligan to five. Hopefully, we can just legacy them with this Wasteland. Oh, it's certainly going for it. If they go Delver, go. Oh yeah. Yeah. Del Delver go mold to five. Yeah. Wasteland them. Every single time. And if they hit their land and race us, you know, whatever, but... Hopefully, hopefully they just get legacy out of the game. Now they have a land, I could feel it. Ah! We're so unlucky! I, I think 10 out of 10 you're supposed to go to that for that, even when they keep 7. And when they go to 5, you're definitely supposed to go for it. I mean, they have two cards now. You know. So we're taking two here. They have a probe. They must have a probe. I think they have a probe. That's what that pause was. I bet they have probe and another so spear. Don't daze me, bro. They don't have daze or force. Okay. How fucking good am I at this game? How, remember when I said they have another Sphere to probe? Man, the soul reads are unreal. You're no cards are dead. I mean... Dude. <laughs> Grim Lava Mancer next turn. Maybe. Certainly. Hopefully we brainstorm into Fetchland Bolt and get to go, like, blast yeah. this, bolt this. Yeah, because that's... Because we need all the cards to go in our favor. Okay, um, so looking for a bolt. <laughs> Wave or pre-recorded. Bolt, please. Ding. Um, I mean, obviously we have to keep all of these, right? So I'm just going to go... Let's do the second Death Rage Trash. There we go. 
I mean, we can't shuffle any of them away. I'm just going to throw those on top for now. And then we're going to bolt this one. And then we'll put a stop on their up. Actually, I'm just going to blast this now so that way they can't use this as a scry. Yeah. That one. So, one thing, one thing that um, you you want to make sure you're doing in this deck is I saw some people playing a red elemental blast pyroblast split in their board in these decks, and that's super wrong because you saw you might have seen every card in play. My opponent had light up last turn when I when I cast this card because you can cast this card even if there's no blue cards in play or blue cards on the stack it just won't do anything to it so you can cast it just to trigger um just to trigger what's it called all right so we're going taking that hit um yeah I have a pyromancer on top I think this is just like pyromancer probe them and then and then play lava man yeah I think so I think this is worth getting a token out of for two life it's a pyroblast. Yep, that's fine. What's wrong? No, nothing. If they offer this trade, I'm taking it probably. I mean, I have the Grim Lava Mancer on the table, so I think I'm just trading these off and, like, preserving my life total. I thought it would be, because the Grim Lava Mancer is going to eat it. But I guess, like, then the Grim Lava Mancer is not eating this, so, like... We draw price. That's pretty good. So I'm taking six here down to whatever. Good. Yeah, it is. Yeah, Pyroblast is the last card. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna lead on Ponder here. I like this deck a lot. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be playing this deck if I wasn't a fan of it. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm supposed to take that because then I can't die to what's it called, right? Yeah. So I just go like. Yeah, it's fine because I'm gonna get to shoot down their Pyromancer. I think we just take this and then, like, plan to grind them out. How many creatures are... Oh, actually, you know what? I could just, um... I think you have to get a trop eventually, right? Yeah, actually, I think I just take the land and fetch trop, right? Yeah. It just kind of puts you to three. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we're dead to a, we're dead to a price with this line, but I think that's fine. Most of our lines are dead to price. <laughs> I guess... Exile two cards. Do you... Do you... I'm going to leave this up. Yeah, it's last card's Power Blast. So I think we're just looking to fade Price for a turn or Brainstorm into Price plus anything else. If they draw exactly Price, they draw exactly Price. Maybe I'm supposed to be conservative and take the Force there. Oh, yeah, I guess Bolt kills us here, too. Oh, I guess I should have done this right away. I guess I could wait and draw the top card of my deck, but then I'm still dead to Bolt because they have the Pyroblast. You can, so you, pay, you can pay for Probe here and make sure. Not right now, but you can. But, yeah, but then I can't eat something at the end of, the, the right, end of their right, turn. Right, right. Which kind of sucks. What? Okay, I mean, deal. This means I can't block their elemental token this turn with my Deathrite Shaman, which means they're gonna get a, they're gonna get some points on. Do I play around another bolt by trading this here? Uh, I don't mind it because like you're gonna beat them down with. Eventually, anyways, I like clearing the board out. I like this. 
This doesn't kill their thing. This oh, is a 2-3. Two, three. Two, three yeah, so like, I could just throw this here, and then I'm going to be dead to a bolt next turn. They have a red elemental blast in their hand. I think I'm just going to do this and be dead to a bolt. It's a good start. There aren't that many forces left in my deck is part of the problem. Oh, you know what? This is probably going to get uh, blasted. Yeah, probably. Sure. Yep. Those are, fine. those are fantastic is what those are. Yeah. Um, so... Man, I don't even know what to do now. Uh, I think it's put this on top of my deck yeah, and definitely. put this on top of my deck and, play and then go Wasteland you play Delver. Delver. Although I guess, huh, I could put this and then this and then wasteland them and have this shoot this. Yeah, that's also good. And then have this eat this. Yeah, I think I like yeah, that better. better. And then next turn I can play the Delver. I'll draw the death right, play the Delver. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. That's All right. Fine. So let's do wasteland the untapped one. We know they have a red element, a pyroblast in their hand, so they could have just pyroblasted if I tried that. So, exile, doop doop, shoot that. Go back to another monster association. And then pass the turn. I right, attack with you Pyromancer. Attack with Pyromancer only. Yeah. Are you supposed to eat right away at all? Or does it matter? No, it doesn't matter because we know their last card's Pyroblast, so we could daze if they draw a burn spell. Man, this was a tight match. I This format's so great. We're basically dazing a cantrip. We're dazing a cantrip here, too. Yeah. Because we can just go eat, eat, and gain out. Gain out. Except for that cantrip. I'm a liar. We're not dazing the one that doesn't cost better. Man, they just went to six, too. Are they Are they dead? I think I think they're just dead. Yeah, all right. They came, they came to the same conclusion. All right. Well, you know. Grixis Silver's great. Legacy's great. You all are great. Thanks, everyone, for hanging out here tonight. My name... We found the unwinnable matchups. My name is Jeff Holgood. I'm joined by Matthew Bamonte, and we are hanging out playing some Legacy here this evening. We got... Our buddy Mike Fitz here as well. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, encourage you to show us for using that follow button there on your screen. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps other people find my stuff. If you're really enjoying what you see and you want to help me produce more of this content, there's a couple different ways you can do that. The first is by subscribing on Twitch or becoming a patron on Patreon. Both of those help support myself financially directly so I can spend more time producing content and less time doing other things to make money. Another great way you can support my content is by supporting my sponsors. MemTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell Magic Online cards with you. If you use code Hoagland PayPal there, you'll get 8% off of all your singles orders. Inked Gaming Dot com does custom gaming accessories such as mouse pads and play mats. You can use code Jeff12 to check out there to save 12% on your purchases. MTGCardMarket.com buys and sells physical magic cards, and they also have a really great selection of written content. Uh, I personally write there weekly, as well as uh, Kevin Jones and Dylan Donigans and a lot of other uh, well known players. And finally, SpareDeck.com would love to rent you any standard or modern deck. You can rent a deck for a weekend or up to an entire month. And I use their service a lot for physical events. I don't actually own that many physical magic cards. So a lot of the time I rent my decks from them for the weekend instead of just buying a lot of stuff. So anywho, look at that. Our match just popped. What good timing on my spiel. <laughs> we're just going to, we're just going to upload this archive as the soul reads, right? Yeah. Soul reads the stream. If you had a soul read, you keep the same. Sounds great. Right, good, you got one. What's going on, Tom? What is that? Bloodstained mire. Oh, what is that ugly? You kids and your expeditions. You kids and your damn expeditions. Back in my day. Blark, 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 blark. All right, I'm going to cast the ponder. Um, these cards are great, and we're going to take the days because I think the most common uh, deck that plays Bloodstained Mire okay. is 3 Animator. Yeah. Yep. That's kind of what I felt right away. To shuffle. No. You're a real man. Would have on that. Let's down. not. Let's not auto-pass because I can daze and entomb here. That's right. If you're a man, you would have named entomb with ball therapy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, come on. Please into me. 
No. Don't give him what he wants. I just want to be right again. I really just want to be. Oh, we are so good. We are masters of the legacy format, ladies and gentlemen. Masters. And we're about to get Simeon Spirit guided and vomit all over the place. I feel like Kent was playing standard next time and I'm playing modern. <laughs> Pitch my spirit guide, pay for. Oh, God bless, stage resolved. Because they didn't want to give up information, because if they just go, like, like, let's say my opponent goes into, like, fetch basic swamp into him on their turn, then, um, oh yeah, we're super dead. Um, I put a second surgical on the board for this league, just for reference. Um, my opponent waited there because they, um, if they give me more information, if they entomb him on their turn, I get to, like, cook, they didn't have a fatty. No guy. No guy. No large gentleman or gentle lady. Yep. Uh, they discarded an exhume, so I'm probably supposed to name exhume. reanimate. Yeah, they... copy? No, not at all. Okay, so it's just, it's just... definitely reanimate then? Yeah, I think so. Moto, please! Moto, please! Well, we're both right. It turns out you're dead. we had. Yeah, you're not even or he, they had dealer's choice here, so they're looking. They're actually looking to draw land because they have a faithful suiting in the bin. Oh, they have a looting, got it. Yep. And we are looking to get a death right Shyamalan set up here. Sure. The good news is we're not dead this turn, and hope hopefully they've been like fatty animate dead or fatty exhume, and then um, we get to flashback therapy and take the other one out of their hand. Well, they've been to Gristle, Dad. Force? Well, <sighs> we're dead, right? They have their two cards are Exhume Reanimate. Are you eating my almonds? Yeah, they're delicious. You ate my salsa and now you're eating my going to play this and pass, just like, you know, make them do it. And by that, I mean they're going to do it because... You're n they're not playing this deck to not go for it. Well met opponent. <clears throat> All right, surgicals, therapy, cage, click, fluster storm, maybe the edict. I'm always torn on the edict if I'm supposed to be doing that or not. Drew name's bad. Bolt gets to come out. And I guess we don't have room for the edict. Do, do you really think the Pyromancer is going to beat the Gristlebrand while my opponent has 16 points of life? Because you would be mistaken. Oh, call against command. Yep. Sweet. Easy in, easy out. Man, it's almost like... It's almost like the sideboard's well built. At least, at least we have the fact that our clairvoyant training is going well this evening. Yeah, it's going well, yeah, yeah. Professor Xavier. I think you bring in Fire Covenant to kill Gristlebrand. Personally. <laughs> They pay seven, you, pay seven. you know, the edict's actually not completely unreasonable because yeah. there's definitely times where they... Is that better than fish? Let's do that. Let's do that. You have enough ways to kill them, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think that's true. I'm going to bring in the edict because there's definitely games where, like, they resolve a thing and, like, if I could kill their thing, we'd be in the game. I agree with that assessment. It's less good against blue-black, but it's probably fine here. And this could be a reason to have another... This could be another reason to have another Edict on my board. This is a card I've kind of considered playing a second on. It's good. It's reasonable in the lands matchup, too, because it kills Merit Liege. I don't know. It'd probably be like the Dismember. I think that's a similar, similar slot. <laughs> I 
All right, so we got to beat them fair and square in one of these next two matches, and then their deck will just mulligan out of the other one. Easy, easy mulligan here. Just no interaction. Sounds great. Just got Deathrite Shaman and Force of Will. And top. Exactly where I like my interaction against the discard deck, the top of my deck. Yeah, the red, the red black reanimator deck is very good, and it's fairly inexpensive to build compared to a lot of uh, legacy decks on Magic Online. So, they they must be. Actually, let's go look it up. I feel like I haven't seen one. Like we played against the Hammer quite a few times, and I haven't seen. I think Deathrite Shaman will ever get banned. Hopefully. I mean, did I say that out loud? Oops. Whoops. Oh, what is that? It's a Lotus Petal, man. Lotus Petal. Four. Yeah, I haven't gotten Chancellor in ages. God bless. We're going to get Chancellor out of this next game, and it's your fault now. I just like the record to reflect. It did, I mean, it took them how long to ban Sensei's Divining Top, so I figure, like, Deathrite Shaman's got another good, like, four years at him at least. Pitch, Simeon Spirit Guide, cast Faithless Looting. Sure. <laughs> if he casts Dark Ritual, I'm forcing it. The hand must be really good, honestly. Death rate would be unplayable if it didn't make mana. I would say it'd be reasonable because it wouldn't be played. By, by, reasonable, if, by, if by reasonable, you mean unplayable, then yes. Death rate Shaman would also be reasonable if it was only green. Like, if this was green, exile a land, gain life, like, super fair. What if it was, fair. Next, what, what if, it was what, what, if it was an 0-1, would one also, one, also be reasonable. 1-1, sure. yeah. one, one, also be reasonable. Yeah. Like, lots of, lots of different things here. Well, you see, Bob, I'm psychic, so I looked into the future and read your comment, and then I said it before you typed it. Oh, boy. Get good. Oh, boy. Yeah. They're about to go discard spell into reanimate. Yeah. Yep. All right. I, no, I'm going to force this, because the only reason to do this is so you can go discard spell into your other thing. Yep. And I have a death rate shaman. And like, if they have reanimate here and no discard spell, I feel I feel like obviously we got it. But I think it's correct to force the ritual, considering there's a fluster storm on top of our deck and a death rate shaman in play. Yeah, I agree. If this buys you a turn, the game is probably over. I mean, it's like, it's like. Uh, Play the blue decks, they said. You'll be good against the combo decks, they said. You have force of will, they said. <sighs> yeah, yeah, correct. They, 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 they just checked for another... They just checked for another thing. Just actually... Actually the god hand. There aren't lightning bolts in our deck to draw to, and we know there's a fluster storm on top, so. Man, that was nice. Uh, <sighs> nope. That was so good. What a skill game. Yeah, and, that, and that's legacy. Like, that's, you know, you have to, in, in addition to having the really deep, interesting games, like the one we played the turn before, like, sometimes you just get got, and if you're not okay just getting got, you know, don't, don't play. Like, that's, that's, it is how it is. Modern level interaction, that is exactly correct. That is what most games in modern are like.
before you go through it one other time. It's not, it's not like you like it. Just say, hey, what are we going to do? Okay, you know? right. Sounds great. No, I don't think so. I think it's objectively wrong to... Uh. Moto, please. Moto, please. Hold on. We're going to lo view my lovely sponsor screen while we log back in I here. I did see, though, that they're going to spend a bunch of money on a uh, MMORPG instead of upgrading Magic Online, so that's pretty solid stuff. So, this is finding In the history of Magic, nothing will compare to this upcoming week's announcements. What Blogatog said, that's what Maro said. What is he quitting? Hopefully. Is, is he, he quitting? quitting? Why are they having announcements about announcements? It's an announcement about an entire announcement week. Well, what do you not understand? What do you not understand about this? Alright. We're back, kind of, almost. It's like having meetings to plan meetings. It's like planning, but yep. I mean you do that at work, right? Yeah, so, yeah, so you know, welcome to corporate. I am not going to Vegas. GPs in general are a spew, and Vegas is a larger spew than normal. It's only $90 to play. It's only per Grand Prix. Yeah, per Grand Prix, it's not that. Per Grand Prix, yep. Holy shit, we're about to die at turn one again. I'm so excited. We're just, I'm just telling Ted's supposed to concede here, right? Yeah, what? Well, I mean, win. what if they don't have reanimate? Dude, if they don't have reanimate, turn off the stream, go buy a lottery ticket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, chat, am I supposed to concede here? Dude, the answer is yes. Don't listen to me, idiots. Just show them your cards, man. Just show them your cards. Yeah, they're gonna go second Dark Ritual Exhum. They don't have the reanimate. Or Petal Exhum. Petal Exhum. I'm glad everyone's smart in this chat. Would they play out their seventh card and kill us here? Please, please just be all seven cards. God bless it. Immediately in the next match. Alright, I'm gonna take another screenshot here. I love like yeah. This is this is karma for me talking about how much I enjoy Legacy. This is they're like oh you like Legacy Hoagland huh? Whatcha whatcha. All right all right all right fam back to the back. To, let's go to work here. We're gonna board in these cards like they matter. I'm just gonna like curl up into a little ball and go. We have a good reanimator matchup. We have a good reanimator yeah. matchup. <laughs> oh, that was just the fucking greatest. He's gonna have Chancellor on, on zero this time. I boarded and forked ball. I was like, I have one too many cards for some reason. So I'm supposed to have an edict in my deck. <laughs> You're right. We could have. Yes, and it's not keepable. Um, I think I'm supposed to keep the ponder here. Yeah, probably. Alright, didn't get Chancellor. Step one. God, I hope you die. I hope you die. <laughs> through the days, yep. Yeah.
Oh. Oh, we're probably gonna die with the days. Yep. Don't cast reanimate. Re Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna daze them. You're not supposed to daze the looting. We still die here. Holy shit! Just actually, actually, every game. All right. I get it. I'm not supposed to like legacy. I understand. I understand. I understand. What? That's four, one, and three now, right? Oh yeah. All right, well, we're gonna click the drop button. Legacy is a fun and interactive format. I would just like remember when I put the second surgical in my board. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess we'll put more money in the machine. That's fine. I got 16th in the in the modern yeah. challenge today. It's cool. Oh, we got yeah. we got dollars to burn. That's true. We did 5-0 last night. Good, good clean living. So there aren't actually vintage leagues, and the vintage daily started 20 minutes ago. So we actually can't. I mean, Are you on the play? no. Oh, you're dead. We're. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing versus the same guy. Are you really? Am I? God, I hope so. <laughs> Is this really the same person? It's a rematch. What? Multiple people said it, so I believe them. Somebody with a sword said it. They they mulliganed. Am I supposed to keep this if they mulliganed? Real, real talk, fam. Am I supposed to keep this if they mulliganed? I'm, I'm inclined to I'm say the, yes. I'm on the yes boat here, but I, what are the? I would also like to put out there. What are the odds we die on turn four, one, four games in a row? High. Right, so huh? like it's, I don't know. The, the, I'm, using calculations. I'm on the draw. I'm on the draw. And this is game one, so like I don't. I only have four of my deck as other interaction. This is yeah, we've got Delver Day's Brainstorm. I think I think we're supposed to keep this even on the draw. They went to six. Oh yeah, I've got screenshots right here with their name in it. Fifty percent chance. Either it does, or either we die, or we don't. They revealed Chancellor. Missed that. <laughs> I just wasteland them, right? I mean, what, they have four cards left? Yep. We can't do anything else. No, I could play land and pass, land and then and days, days through days through the Chancellor. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they don't have a land. Do they not have a land? Damn it. I just have to pass here, I think. You, I mean, you can't do anything with Chancellor, right? Yeah. Anything I play gets countered, so, like, next turn we can just play this and pay for the counter. Yeah. We, we got a second turn. 
You know, I would just, we just we are we are very very lucky. The luckiest one could argue even. Yep, that's a Chromox. Please play a two mana spell I can get. And by that I mean they have a Simeon Spirit Guide. <sighs> oh, this is fine because I have two dazes. Not I don't understand. What format are we playing? They, they probably take the Delver here, right? Uh, yeah, you get to get to take away the game. They in the game. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna have to pay for this Chancellor. So what are we therapying? Well, it's not reanimate, right? Because we could just jam that. No, they know we have the days. It could be reanimate. It's probably just reanimate or exhum, right? Yeah, it's one of those two. I think. Pretty positive on. I can daze them. You float mana, and then you daze, and then you pay for the chancellor with the mana you have floating. Probably a two mana spell. Oh yeah, I didn't have any mana. That's true. In tomb, sure. Okay. Weird. Um. Yeah, that is that is weird. So I. Yeah, I feel like they must have a brick as their last card. So this probably doesn't matter. Yeah, I think so. Because I can daze a two mana spell. Yeah, it's a brick. Sure. Okay, sweet. We just need to be able to find a way to win the game. Yep, yeah, we can brainstorm next turn, so. And if we find a death right shaman, we just like play it and then they're they're up a creek. No, I think we're supposed to name reanimate because um we can daze any we can daze a two mana spell guaranteed. I feel like I don't want these. I'm gonna crack this and then ponder and get trop here. The Culligan's command gets oh, back my Delver and kills the Chrome Mop. Yeah, and good. then we get to draw force too. So yeah. <laughs> nope. Yeah, we're pretty far ahead here. See. A lot of their lands are basic or fetch lands, so like they're gonna be able to play around like this this they get to play around it anyways, right? So we have Chancellor, right? Yes, Chancellor is their one card. And then whatever this is exhuming. And they know we have a daze, so Yeah, they're gonna like try and beat They're just gonna like play into it. Like that's how you do. Like these decks don't have a lot of interaction, they don't have a lot of card selection, so Alright, Culligan's Command. Destroy target artifact. Return target creature, destroy target artifact. Pick that yeah, one, destroy that one. one. Yeah, just... Because checkboxes are too complicated. Alright, that's the fetch land we knew about. So I'm going to lean on casting this. I'm gonna put. I'm putting the bolt on top, I think, and then we can just f to flip it, and then we can sh and we can shuffle it away, and then this pitches to the four, so that's probably fine. So let's do let's do this, and then play this, and put a stop during my upkeep. So we we'll flip the delver to the bolt, and then we'll shuffle the bolt away. Yeah, I like it. Another force? Okay. Let's just look for Death Rite Shaman here. There we go. Um, is that guy good? Is he good? If so, why? Please explain. Uh, I'm going to put Daze on top because I know about it. Put Daze and then Force. Really? No. I'm probably supposed to put the Force on top. Go. Death doesn't do anything anymore, does it? No, it's fine. It eats their stuff. I'm gonna put Wasteland on top and then put a Force on top, and then I have Force, force and Days up, so that's yeah. fine. And then cast this. 
Cast this. Go. That's fair, but like, maybe it's worth drawing and just shuffling away the land. All right. Well, we're on the scoreboard against this deck at least. Oh, I don't want Pyroblast. This is not. That was game one. Yep. There we true name in our deck, so definitely game one and calling its command. Not that command was dead, but this has been the board plan. I think it's correct. This is a pretty easy mulligan here. Cabal therapy is not nearly enough interaction, especially on the draw, and we've got forces and surgicals to mulligan to post board. At least we get to be on the play game three, right? I think this. I think this is a keep with a scry on six. They kept seven, so like we're probably dead. deal. Sweet. They have one of those slower hands. This deck does, like, they exploded on us a bunch of games in a row. This deck does not always do what my opponent kept, what my, our opponents kept doing. Their deck is not that consistent. You wouldn't, you wouldn't know it to look at it, but they're not that consistent. Including resolves. Those aren't any fatties in the bin, God bless. So, we're just wastelanding them, right? Yeah. Yep. 10 out of 10. Keeps them off of flashing back, looting. Oh, please get another dual land. Yeah, buddy. I think this is okay. Because I have force. Oh, this is just flashing back the looting, I think, actually. Yeah, deal. The true legacy experience isn't dying on turn one. The true legacy experience is when you make it to turn, like, 40... And um, you're, no one has any permanence in play. It deals one damage okay. to each creature your opponents control. Sure, so it kills. This just resolves, right? You just, you just a death Probably. If he's cheeky, he could name the polluted delta, I guess. No deal. I don't think we need death rate shaman to win this game. <laughs> yeah, nice lands. Idiot. Stone rain. I mean, they just kept a hand that's, like, slower and interactive, which is not good in this matchup, by any stretch of the imagination. Um, hmm. That seemed pretty good. Uh... Putting a land back, and I'm probably just putting the click back for now, right? We just want to draw that later when we have more lands. Yeah, I'm just gonna do that. Unfortunately, I'm one shy of playing this fish, but that's fine. It means I get to fetch a Volk here. Any order, shuffle. Sure. Nope, they've probably done what they've done every game. It's just like this game, they don't have the nuts. Yeah. Hey, Edict's good. Did you just draw that off the Pondering Shuffle? Yep. Uh, this deck does have a good three-minute matchup, right? 
I don't know. I know it does. I just hold that right. Well, just like kill, ki yeah. Just kill them, kill them in three with this, yeah. Deal. Uh, the deck my opponent's playing is is popular because it's not expensive. Dead here because he can't reanimate. <laughs> oh man, it's good to be a gangster. Vengeance! Vengeance for Zolchair! I am the Cabal Therapy Master, in case anyone was wondering. That last league didn't go well, but I did, I feel like I did set a precedent towards proving I am the Cabal Therapy Master during it, so like, you know, I've got that going for me. And like, I'm not just randomly guessing, like I'm looking at all of the cards my opponents played and making like educated decisions on like cards they haven't had opportunities to play yet. And yeah, we are, we are, we are, there is a bit of variance involved in that, like most things in Magic, but you know, they are educated guesses. No, they'd already cast an Exhume Rogue. You, most of these lists play three or more Animate Deads. <laughs> no, I've I've played against... Actually, I'm going to look at this, just the first list here. Four Animate Deads. No joke. Just like first 5-0 list here. Four Animate Deads. Second 5-0 list. Four Animate Deads. Third 5-0 list. Three Animate Deads. Fourth 5-0 list. Four Animate Deads. Oh, yes, you can kill Chalice in one. <laughs> no, you're not. Like, just like two pulses, two axes, and that's it? Yeah, I think that's fine. You, boarding and Grudge isn't terrible because you can flash it back. I, I wouldn't, but I think that's fine. Yeah. Fire Covenant's here for the Elves matchup. It's also good in the Young Pyromancer Mirrors. Just like whenever they have lots of really crappy troops. I don't think Maddie had found, was able to find all the cards for Eldrazi Tron, so I'm pretty sure he's just dredging tomorrow. Yeah, I couldn't find a few all of the... What's my favorite deck to play in any format overall? Um, Sapphire Diamond Control in Hex's current standard format is 10 out of 10 my favorite deck to play. Probably Lifetime. I think Hex's current standard format is like... I'm kind of sad that it's going to be changing and that we don't have more tournaments. Like, it's probably Lifetime my favorite, my favorite constructed format. Like, out of all TCGs. Got a few more weeks of it. Pokemon Scoop Dive Deck. <laughs> super Scoop Up, man. The Donk Deck played yeah. a bunch of Super Scoop Ups. Yeah, Just donk them out on the first turn. Man, this hand is so good if you play Mirror. You're not wrong. It's so bad if you play against the same guy. Alright, so I'm going to show you what we can do here. <laughs> uh, where is it? This one I do, it opens, though. I think it's Slash Player. Legacy, four color control. Hand sounds great. <laughs> the shit, dude. 
I mean, Hex is like Magic Plus. It's like Magic with a lot of the bad parts taken out of Magic. Uh, Sapphire Diamond Control is basically a blue-white control deck. You dirtle around and don't do a whole lot, and then eventually you win the game. God, they're about to take our Brainstorm and then yeah. Wasteland us. <laughs> I hope so. Nah, that's not the button I wanted to click. All the Magic players know the... The community is smaller currently, though, so, like, it does have slightly less idiots. There's st we still have our fair share of idiots because, you know, people and human nature, but, like, we have less currently. Yes, yeah, so, like, one of the really sweet things in Hex that, like, makes you really sad when you come back to Magic is that because Hex is an all-digital game, they use a hyper-geometric... I'm just supposed to wasteland them, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Hopefully they get legacied. Um... Uh, Hex uses a hypergeometric distribution that's modified um, to generate the opening hands for each player, and it shaves the 10% most resource light hands and the 5% most resource dense hands. So basically everyone, when you play Hex, mulligans 15% less than you would in Magic, just because like you have more keepable hands overall. Uh, if you're interested in a control deck that, that plays blue and red colors, actually 5-2 the Legacy Challenge today with Jeskai Control. It's, um, its dredge matchup is basically unwinnable, but it's a good deck other than that. You'd appreciate this. I just conceded on, like, turn 2 in both games against the Dredge Flare. I, like, looked at my hand. I had one... I played 5 games total, and I stole one of them because I, I drew enough bolts, and I cryptic double-tapped their team 2 turns in a row, and then, like, hit them with a spell crawler a couple of times. Please brick, please brick, please brick. It's very unlikely that they brick here. If they do brick, though, this Delver's about to lick its lips and go to town. Yeah, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. How did you get into Hex and what I recommended? Um, so I was actually helping Adrian Sullivan test for a modern Pro Tour about a year and a half, almost two years ago. And um, being the total degenerates that we are, after we spent all day playing modern, we decided to play uh, more TCGs. And he's like, you should check out this. He had been um, doing some writing for them and playing their game so he could write about it. And I just started playing it. I really enjoyed it. Everything is cheap compared to Magic. The average cost of a Tier 1 Hex standard deck is somewhere between, well, yep, I'll take that and just hopefully legacy them out of the game here. Um, the average cost of a tier one Hex deck is somewhere between um, usually like $60 and $150, depending on what the deck is. Like, just like Magic, the prices vary a little bit. And the best part about these wastelands is that my opponent thought sees us on turn one and knows that we drew runner runner wastelands so just like the tilt factor is great here rats they have another land we're so unlucky just just the, at least they're not wastelanding us back so we got that going for us don't baleful strix me oh, that's so rude so rude opponent Do, 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 do. I mean, at least we're drawing. At, at least, I mean, at least we're not drawing, um, what's it called here? We, we could be drawing creatures. Yeah, what's going on, can't get her? You could have, like, you could basically own, play for $1,500, you could own play sets of every hex card. I mean, like, Maybe multiples. multiples, yeah. I think the single most expensive card in Hex right now is Bride of the Dam, that I think it's like just under $26, somewhere around there. And one of the sweet things about Hex is like, so one of the things that really annoys me about the Magic community right now, a lot of Pro Tour players and even Aaron Forsythe, like the head of R&D, was like talking about how they think data is a problem in Magic and they want to like hide data and like make it harder for people to access information. Like they already hide a lot of the information on Magic Online. Hex 
every game of hex that's played for any amount of prizes either on their free to play ladder or any of their tournaments for prizes you see all of the data and not only do you see the results from every deck that plays in every tournament but you also get to see every other deck list that they played against in each of the tournaments so you can look at um you can look at what all the results are what would you play tomorrow if you wanted to have fun in a standard pptq um i would play anything else I would bring a modern or legacy deck and play it between rounds so I would enjoy myself playing Magic for the day. I would um, take my wife out on a lunch date. God, there's just... I'm about to get... That's so rude. And they're rebuying their Baleful Strix here. Man, remember that time we didn't have a daze? It's really sad. Yeah, I guess. No other blue card. Yeah, I know what I plan to do tomorrow. So the last two weekends, I've double queued the Magic Online Legacy Challenge alongside the Hex has a 1K cash sealed tournament that it's like extra in-game prizes too. So I just like play Hex and Magic Online at the same time and play both tournaments. Hey, what's going on, Zek? If we draw Black Source next turn, we can K Command shatter his thing and shock him, which doesn't seem like the worst. That being said, our window for closing this game is getting smaller here. I guess I don't want to auto yield because then they know I don't have a blue card. Second best draw, definitely blue card. This matchup is definitely harder for us. The deck my opponent's playing uh, loses to the combo decks in the format pretty hard, though. They're playing a bunch of like slow, clunky cards and no pressure, like Call Against Command and Baleful Strix. They have some disruption, but my opponent's deck really doesn't put a clock on the table, so they just give the combo decks infinite turns to draw out of what they've done. I have top 8 3 out of 4 the last two weeks, and I got 12th in the Clash that I didn't top 8. Playing tournaments, as someone who's, like, ground and played, like, a ton of physical magic over the last couple of years, like, playing tournaments from, at, from my computer at home is fantastic. We're about to get, like, actual factual counterspelled here. Which kind of sucks. Feels like actual factual counterspell. Man, could you imagine just like how dead my opponent is if I just had a blue card? Uh, at any rate, I'm going to run my both my idiots into this. So I just need to push damage. So, like, the deck my opponent's playing is supposed to be good against the deck that we're playing. And, like, we missed flipping Delvers for two turns, so they'd be potentially, like, six points of life lower here if that had happened, so they'd be dead. We didn't have a blue card for this Force of Will, or they'd be dead. We didn't, we don't have a black source to cast either of these cards, or they'd likely be dead. So, like, this deck's, that's the reason why I really like the Delver deck. Um, you're really not out of any games of Magic. Like, even the decks that are supposed to be good against you, you just have draws that line up well against them and run them out of the game, in addition to having strong matchups on average against a lot of the combo decks in the format. You have, like, a Jace we're playing through, uh, days here. Snapcaster, call against command. Fucking gross. Like, either of these... If this was, like, Day's blue card, my opponent would have been so dead this game. <sighs> Target player discards a card. Sh sure. I'll get rid of this force I can't play. I'm kind of surprised I didn't get back to Baleful Strix. Black source, please. Cantrip, even. I mean, I guess that's castable. An aggressive block. Another Snapcaster. Another snap snap oh, another K command would be vomit inducing. Sure. Another Snap K command. That would be nice. I mean, you're not just even good at punishing stumbles, like, you're good at making your opponent stumble too between dazes and wastelands and stuff.
Nope. Uh, GP Vegas is... Most GPs are a spew, and Vegas is a bigger spew than normal. So. I did not... When I, when I looked... When I looked at the list of things I could do for a thousand US dollars, I decided that I would rather do any of those things as opposed to go... going to GP Vegas. Bug Delver's a little bit better in these matchups. I think Bug Delver's a little bit worse against the combo decks, too, though. You're also much worse against Blood Moon. Oh, God. Wait, did they return Death Right? They returned Snapcaster, right? Yeah, they have a Snapcaster in their head, too. I should probably just concede this game. Actually, I'm going to make them kill me because they're down on clock by, like, four minutes. So, this game... God... Uh, this game could realistically come down to the clock, so I'm going to make my opponent kill me. That's fine. They're going to, like, spend time chasing and stuff, so... This, uh... This game is over. It's just not going to end for a couple of turns. Can I draw a black source and take their Stepcaster away, please? That would be great. Can trip even. Hey, hey, look at that. You have to shuffle because there's not going to be a black source. Ooh, multiple black sources. Yeah, sign me up. You have your fourth brainstorm to hide your Snapcaster Mage. And then hopefully we can just live to force a game three in this matchup. Sure. Or like, I guess they could straight up play Counterspell because of the Death Rage Shaman. We also just flash the Stabcaster Mage in. Sure. Um, what's a four of they haven't cast yet? I'm just going to name Counterspell because I really don't want to play against that. Whoa, they just had a second Snapcaster. Okay, that's pretty good. I guess I should have named Force. Okay, Force is definitely a four of their deck. That's true. Rogue, I like that. We've, we've had such good mojo, too, on all these all these Cabal Therapies, and I messed that one up. Yeah, Force is definitely a name. It's like 10 out of 10 of four of that they haven't cast yet. We want to continuing to burn precious seconds off their clock. You keep making decisions, opponent. So they have force plus Snapcaster Mage. So I'm going to go ahead and say... Uh, return... Uh, make, make, the, make a creature... Target return, target play discard. So I'm going to get back my young Pyromancer and say, oh, you know what? Huh, maybe I'm just supposed to shock them so I have a chance to burn them out. That's very real. Huh. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to shock them there, actually. I mean, I just voided every creature out of my bin. They only have one more here. So, yeah, I think I'm supposed to... Sure. I 
I guess killing dudes is better for my um, time them out game plan. Oh, this is loose. I should have cast the Gurmag Angler first because I already get to void two things in my bin. Targeting Counterspell with this? Sure. I think I bring an Ancient Grudge in this matchup, right? Like, Baleful Strix is a thing that I often have to kill. I think Grudge is supposed to command. This is definitely a Fire Covenant matchup. Cabal Therapy seems fine. Flusterstorm Py Pyroblast is excellent. Lava Man seems fine. Fork Bolt seems okay. A lot of cards I feel like I want. Daze gets to come out here. Yeah, Fork Bolt's definitely better than Grudge, but like in addition to. Do I want both Fluster Storms? Probably not. I think I'm going to try this. I could see wanting some number of days or force. Maybe these are just supposed to be dazes on the play. Leave a few in. Couple, two, three. I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave three days in on the play and we'll switch it up on the draw. Let's just try and win a game here so we can time them out in the third. That scene seems fine. I guess Bolt's not impressive in this matchup. Nah, they have Death Rage Shaman. Bolt's fine. Looking for lands here. Top, 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 draw days, no shuffle. Let's leave a land on top of our deck. I mean, we've got bolts and we've got like bolts, pressure, and other stuff too, so. Play this. Fetch. Uh, Pyroblast is the other card I'm thinking of. We got Pyroblast to kill Jay's. Chase as well. Play this Dorko. Pyromancer resolved is a bit less scary for the post board because they have like sweepers, I assume. What do you think of dazing this? A dazing this? Yeah. Might tie them up for the whole turn, I suppose. Is that and worth you it? A, and, well, you get a token. Yeah, and then like next turn I can brainstorm. You can brainstorm and then, yeah. How do we feel, chat? Do we like brainstorm? Do we like uh, dazing this? I kind of like dazing this. I don't mind it. This is like the hard part. Your daze isn't getting better, honestly. Like, I mean, it might be. I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't, I, I don't mind it. Their deck is mana hungry. I mean, like, we put Delver of Secrets in our deck. My portrait says Avatar of Greed on the frame. Like, let's let's take the greedy line. Yeah. Man, can you imagine if this Brainstorm finds a Wasteland? Well, they already played a land for the turn, too, so... Seven cards, and then it's here. Hopefully we just kill them before they play them all. It's the best kind of card advantage, killing them before they play everything. God, second three names. Ugh. I'm just gonna put these two back. Yeah. And then fetch cast probe. Maybe we should get the other fetch land, actually. Okay. You're in pretty decent shape with that. 
Yeah, we're in an okay spot here. Like a brainstorm makes anything possible, but... Holy shit. Yeah, we're just not playing around anything here, I don't think. I don't think so. I think it's just this, and then attack. For what, three? Hope to delver them out. In the literal and figurative sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we do. They can reb this Delver, but then they're not really... They can reb the Delver and play Death right, which is probably their line. If they're tapping this out, they must be calling in commanding, right? Why are we brainstorming... Oh, they knew they knew the top card of their deck. Oh, fair. That's why they did this. Yeah, it's so obnoxious. Like well, I ranted about this the other night. This should just show every every card you've seen. Yeah, I don't understand that either. It's a little unfortunate. Uh, yeah, play this. Bolt this idiot. He's going to get to Red Elemental Blast, our Delver of Secrets here. But we're going to get to continue applying pressure. And then hopefully if they're able to stabilize from this board, like they draw a sweeper of some sort, this true nemesis will get to come down and mop up because we're hitting them for five here down to ten. And then with this bolt in our hand, like maybe, maybe we can end up yeah, but I mean, doing enough here. They didn't finish a blast that They're going to do it now. They, they couldn't play around days at any point, so... So they've played Delta, Brainstorm, Shaman, Blast. Red Elemental Blast. Five cards? Huh. I mean, that's a pretty solid lick to take. Yeah. <laughs> Let us get the Assault Trigger. Bronze God, 3 two, one I'm a big fan of how you do magic. Thank you. I love playing mono blue taking turns. I assume that is. We only need to make the text size smaller so longer messages fit there. Thank you for the donation, Bronze God, 321. I do appreciate it. That's fine. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to bolt that. All right. I have a K command, but I'm going to attack them for a bunch. So, you know, YOLO. Okay, that means we're not getting Culligan's commanded. Um, so what's what cards do we know about in his hand? That's the, he didn't even play the C, so we know he has Snapcaster K Command C. Yeah, pretty solid. I mean, Seems okay. Oh. Well, now we just shoot that, right? I mean, if he was gonna protect it, it's probably worth it to him. Yeah, I don't think so. I agree. It's, there's things that get him out of the situation and kill true nemesis as well, so. Yeah. Golgari charm. Golgari charm, good. Flash and Snapcaster, block the young pyromancer, take five, go to four, have six power left yeah. over. Yeah, they're just cool. hoping to draw their draw their outer here. Yep. I'm holding this in my hand in case they use K Command to make us discard a card. Okay. Mm, brainstorm, Brain I assume. Starting. They could hit land plus Golgari Charm here. Fine. Or land plus Marsh Casualties is a card these decks sometimes play. Catch you later. Yeah, I'm going to play the Legacy Challenge, yeah. and then I'm going to play... So... The way I'm seeing these games play out, 
I kind of want the extra days in my deck. I agree that their deck's really mana hungry, and I feel like we're often putting them in positions that we can choke them, but like maybe we're just not going to be able to put them in positions like that as consistently when we're on the draw. What do we think? Maybe I just like leave leave my board plan as is. Just don't change anything. No, I'm not going to Vegas. It's way too expensive. We don't play Stifle because I think the other disruption we can play is more powerful on average. Yep. Love you too, babe. Yep. Trey Gamer with the 20 month three subscription. They're not coming back. With the 20 month three subscription. Thank you for the continued support. I do appreciate it. It's a long time. 20 months for us to play blue cards. I have no idea. No, it's right there behind the door. I kind of want this daze, but I don't really have a good cut. Three is probably fine. Probably this week, Ryan. I didn't have time to test for things this week. I mean, like... My opponent's, like, trying to Snapcaster Culligan's commands. Like, I feel like this Daze is doing something at some point. I'm just going to submit. Let's just run it how we got it. I mean, this thing's fine. Yep. Exotic taking turns. I haven't actually played the taking turns deck, so I'm not I'm not sure, Bronze God. Um the Delver on one. I feel like it's Delver on one just on the off chance they don't have a fetch land. I think if I didn't have to fetch to play the death right, I would. But I think because yeah, and they have a fetch, so like whatever. But I think leading on Delver's okay here. Yep, that's the Strix. Sure. Stop it. Play a death rate of our own. I don't really want to run this into here, so I think we're just passing. Night's Whisper, gross. Selection and I can Pyromancer plus Ponder, which feels okay. Assuming I get to untap with this. Yep. I could also just like. I can also just, like, Wasteland my opponent this turn, and then, like, play Ponder or Delver and, like, use my Death Rite to counter their Death Rite. I actually don't hate that line either. I 
I think I'm gonna do that, actually. And I could, like, ponder looking for a daze or something to flip this Delver down the line. Eh, maybe I'm just supposed to play the Delver. I think we're supposed to Wasteland and then hold up. Hold up our death rate to counter their death rate. Yo, dog. I'm gonna play this and pass the turn. We're at, like, parity on board, and opponents got more cards in hand, so not in a great spot. See if they have a fetch to clear their brainstorm. They do. That could have gone better. Now he ends up not choking them on mana at all. <laughs> oh, it's a little frustrating. Uh, so we get to play this, and then we can ponder. I guess flipping these doesn't do much right now, so I'm just going to shuffle that away. Please don't marsh casualties me. Go guard charm would be pretty bad for us too. Are we snapping knights whispers here? Holy god. Yep. Like to draw a forked bolt or fire covenant. Oh man, we've been really unlucky with these Delvers this evening. I guess I could just play this while my opponent uh, can't touch my crypt. Let's get this in here. I guess the upside did not playing the third Delver last turn is we could. Yeah, that doesn't change anything. If we knew they had a daze on top. I love Fugitive Wizard. He's my favorite. Maybe we'll, like, draw Fire Covenant and they won't have a Force or a um, Fluster Storm. You can Dream Right. They have a Delft Troop of their own. Snapcasters or Snap Bolting something? Snap brainstorming since we have a fetch. Snap brainstorming, sure. I'm pretty sure if we draw Fire Covenant, we just, like, go for broke. It's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's like straight across the board. Eight, nine. Come on, cantrip into Covenant or Covenant. Come on, please. Please. Well, the good news is we can scry next turn with our Delver. It's the good news. The bad news is they're going to be able to fluster storm up. It's not even that, like, we're not drawing our one of that's a blowout. It's just, like, we keep destroying literal bricks. We guessed any cantrips this game. One. Gross. Yeah, you gotta be, you know, play the cards you're dealt, play them optimally, look for, look for the bits of advantage you can get. Maybe K commanding here. Bronze God with the brand new subscription as well. Thank you for the subscription and the donation. I really do appreciate it.
Make sure you um, link, if you use uh, Discord, if you don't use Discord, I'd recommend checking it out. Um, but link your Discord app.com account with your subscribed Twitch account. You'll find access to my uh, subs only Discord server. We get two shots at Blowout City here in a second. I'm going to start attacking with some Baleful Strixes. I feel like you're supposed to poke bay. Yeah, the removal spell that cantrips is great. Okay, this is it. This is it. This is what we've been preparing for. Doop, doop. Doop, 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 uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kill me. They're going to cast a spell and then fluster storm us. So we needed we needed to hit that 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 turn where they were tapped out. So M's the beats. Alright. So it's a hard matchup and we ran pretty poorly in it. The first game we didn't like none of our cards lined up well. And then didn't have a black source, didn't have extra blue cards. And then that third game we just missed for a couple turns too many. And did some redraws and stuff like that. That's why Fire Covenant's in the deck for people asking. Matchups like that, it's fantastic. And, like, if we were able to position ourselves to be better better against that, like, we had to just go for broke there. And, like, and to be fair, if they didn't have it, like, they obviously didn't have force in their deck. Like, they were auto-passing a whole bunch. So they didn't have, like, what's probably, like, two Fluster Storms max. Like, they were just dead there, right? Like, even if they killed two of our guys, we just had eight power and they were dead in two swings. It's a long game, so I always feel like in a longer game like that, when I lose, there's no way we could have possibly made all correct decisions, but we really didn't have a lot of tools or selection in that game, so. Sure, three fluster storms. We hold one, 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 two, pair down. Like, we weren't in a position to not make them have it, so, like, making them have it is the correct line there. Probe therapy. Keep. Hands a little mana light, but we're on the draw, too. I've got a redraw here. Got a bolt as well. Ponder, sure. I'm gonna turn off auto yield so they don't know that we don't have force. Chose not to shuffle. Seems pretty decent against an unfair deck. I'm going to probe on one here, even though we drew a Pyromancer, because I probably want a therapy. Please have a two of in your hand. Please have a two of in your hand. They have a Wasteland. That's gross. Can I name Wasteland? Is that allowed? Jeez, hopefully they daze me. And then I can daze their days and protect my land. And we drew another land anyway, so I guess that's fine. 10 out of 10 therapying them here. Is it just Brainstorm here? The EV of SCG events versus PTs. Um, all physical magic tournaments, the payouts are structured in a way that they're all essentially a spew. Especially, um, especially when you are flying to the events because, like, the payouts are not, are not great. 
but uh, the SCG events are like slightly less of a spew because there's less people at them, so it's like more reasonable to cash. We did Paper Magic earlier this week. The Paper Magic is not nearly as popular as Magic Online because it's hard to follow Paper Magic. Like, Paper Magic takes three times as much work to produce, and the content that gets produced from it is generally worse on average. I guess I'm going to take this Gurmag Angler. I'm more likely to be able to daze a Trini Nemesis out of their hand. The Angler's likely just going to cost them one. Like, especially if my opponent wastelands me here, like, then they're going to need to draw three lands to play their true name through a daze. Like, they're going to wasteland me here. They're going to, like, go oh, greedy Delver deck. Let's hope to just get them. Like, I'd make that play too almost every time. They drew a Delver of their own. That's sad. I guess I can bolt this and then daze their daze. Feels good. I think I'm supposed to daze their daze to take... Their Delver off the table. Because with two true names, we can probably just race. Why would you crack that instead of just playing your other land out? Do you have a different color card you need to play? So draw a black spell. They drew a Gurmag Angler. That's a really good draw. I think I'm supposed to end step brainstorm here so I can pyromancer plus probe next turn most likely gives me three looks instead of just one to do that God, they drew another threat that's really good we're just getting raked in these we're getting ranched in these fair games of magic this evening not being particularly close. I don't like Cabal Therapy in these Delver matchups. Can trim some forces. Edict is good. Dismember is good. Fire Covenant's fine. Fork Bolt's fine. Grim Pyro's fine. Pyroblast is great. Hmm. What else am I cutting here? Okay, command a little bit too slow. Trim a Daze and another force on the draw on the play. Mulligan sounds fine. Yeah, I mean, like we were positioned pretty well that game, and then they drew, they drew running threats. Ponder, um. I'll take a ponder. Flips the Delver. It rubs the lotion on the skin or else it gets the hose again. Sure. I'm going to go ahead and let's lead on probe, get an educated decision about how we want to sequence this turn. Okay. Man, I wish we had a wasteland. Fourth bolt. It's going to be pretty good against these Delvers at some point. Let's grab Falk here. Start on this ponder, looking for font lands. I have a daze. I think I'm supposed to shuffle this because they're going to wasteland us next turn. Yeah, I'm just supposed to look for redraws. Don't have a daze in their hand, so I can bolt this. And I wouldn't be too surprised if they go push this plus wasteland us.
probably play the wasteland, push this to play around days, and then waste us off one of our two. Oh, they're gonna brainstorm. That makes sense too, I guess. They don't want to get wasted out of the game either. So they played Brainstorm, they played Wasteland. They're taking me off my C, sure. I'm going to start with this, hopefully hit a fetch. Are they going to daze me? That's really bad for us, especially if they have another Wasteland. We know they have a Stifle. Assume this is getting pushed because we'd have fought over your death rate shaman, sure. I'm just gonna kill this. Keep pressuring, I think. So their hand, they're on one land as well. So their hand is fatal push, delver, delver, stifle right now. Two cards we don't know. Alright, here's Medarkus. I have Delver Delver Stifle three cards we don't know. Another push. Delve Threat maybe. Looks like Delve Threat based on how long it's taking them to pay costs. Yep. Alright, let me draw Black Source. Can't trip into Black Source to be good too, so we can just play Big Fish. Or we can continue building our house of bricks. We're really pretty. I guess we drew three cantrips this game. I was about to say, we're, we haven't been drawing a lot of cantrips, but we did We did hit a few this game. Opponent's been really good at drawing fish. That's pretty good. Ten out of ten just shocking them with the Grim Lava Mancer at end of turn if they don't play a Delver for us to kill. Weird. It's weird they didn't want to leave the stifle up. Maybe they brainstormed it away? Well, you know, huh. I think I'm supposed to do this because I could play Delver next turn. I could play this and get day not get dazed, but I think I'm just supposed to go for that there. We know they don't have days now, so their hand is Delver Stifle 2 cards we don't know. Brainstorm, sure. That was a good hit. Finding that land. See if they find an answer to this Grim Lava Mancer here. If they find a way to shuffle here, I'm probably going to assume they shuffled the Stifle. A big fish to play next turn or a pyromancer. I don't think after they see four new cards for the turn, I don't think we run Trudy Nemesis into a potential daze. Delver, sure. I'm gonna lead on this, voiding my entire yard, because if my opponent has a daze, they might daze this. To like try and keep me off of using the this for this turn. Oh. Oh, I'm so dumb. That means I can't. I'm it's late. I apologize. That means I can't Grim Lava Mancer. Yep, I'm stupid. So, shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have been cute. Should have just played the land and then played this with one up. And then I would have had two to shoot this. Man, watch this game snowball and run away from us now. God, that would be really embarrassing. Yep. I 
deserve that. God, they have a fish of their own? Oh, just that. Alright, so... I'm going to attack with this. See if they jump block. If they don't jump block, they're going to be dead to this true name. Pick you. Go. He did not die this turn. Dead to double bolt. I guess I could have brainstormed to try and find bolt to kill them there, but that seems loose. I've already played one bolt. Mystery name out seems better. Sure. Okay. So we're not dead. Any marsh casualty or something here? They can jump plus gain life. Oh, okay. So I want to brainstorm in response here to try and find a bolt or a way to kill this. All right, skill game. Is marsh casualty sorcery? I didn't know that. All right, well, you know, we did it. Um, probably want less days in the draw. Probably don't mind these forces. And that's just the... Maybe a fluster storm is fine on the draw. Probably good. They go death right go, and then the days just looks like an embarrassing magic card. Sand's fine. Being a little mana heavy is often not a bad thing in the Delver Mirrors. You don't even know what's in their hand isn't bad either. Yeah, Wasteland's less good against death right. Believe it or not. Plenty of stuff here. They have a stifle, so we're probably going to just play and fetch. Yeah, that's pretty good. So I'm going to do this and then just fetch. Yeah, I think it's just too expensive, Bob. The matches usually don't come down to that, I feel like. Maybe that's an incorrect assessment. I feel like that's not what the matches usually come down to, though. You know, I'm just supposed to probe again there, looking for answers. So you play Pyromancer here, sure. You know they have Reb and Stifle in hand. Last stifle, stifle. Okay, please draw bolt. Ponder. So if I... If I play this Ponder, it gets Red Elemental Blast that puts four cards. This puts five cards. This puts six cards, and I can play the Gurmag Angler. So, yeah, let's lead on Ponder. And if it doesn't get Red Elemental Blast, then we get four looks at a... We get four looks at a thing. Yeah, so... Oh! God, I'm dumb. God, I'm dumb. They get to eat one of my lands. Okay. Yep. I didn't think about that. Still gonna do this just in case we had another probe or a piece of removal. Another land. Oh, that feels bad. Okay. Well, probably dead. 
I guess if we can find an answer to the board, their hand's pretty terrible. This brainstorm's not going to be stellar, though, because we're not going to be able to shuffle after because of the stifles. I guess I can clear most of the cards out of my discard pile from this brainstorm, though, so we got that going for us. Or with this Grimag Angler, sorry. Fire Covenant. All right. All right. Um, do this, this, play this, play this. We have two stifles and one card we don't know. Their pyroblast and put us to seven. A lot of things we can't beat here, true name included. Which, if they're fetching, it must be true name, right? It's gonna be something weird like a Jace. Probably not beating that either. Yep, good game, Spud. So this has protection from us, so we can't kill it with uh, the Fire Covenant. Please don't wasteland me. Please don't wasteland me. Everyone's having a good, good Saturday night. My name is Jeff Hogan. We're hanging out playing some Legacy this evening. Uh, this is not one of my scheduled stream slots, but I try and fit some extra ones in as time permits. Um, I normally stream every Monday afternoon and Tuesday morning. We are not playing Toxic Deluge. Toxic Deluge is pretty bad in our deck full of... Um, our deck with Young Pyromancer in it. It's pretty atypical for Delver decks to play something like Toxic Deluge. I'd love to draw Brainstorm. Um... I think I'm supposed to ponder here because it gives me more looks at the land. I think I'm supposed to shuffle these. I got there. I mean, we did play against the Deathrite Shaman Rest in Peace deck tonight, so, like, people like to do all sorts of jacked-up things in their legacy decks, I guess. I think I'd rather answer True Name by just, like, playing Forces or Pyroblasts or stuff like that. Dazes, you can beat True Names by sequencing. Like, even with Toxic Deluge in your deck, there's going to be a lot of positions where you just die to it anyways. Like, having this one random fun of, like, I think it's worse than playing Fire Covenant that's going to win you more and win you stuff in better positions a lot of the time. It's a Leovold. 10 out of 10 have to force a Leovold. Yep. Yeah. Please don't force me back. Fuck me. Well, oh, can no longer brainstorm or target them with anything. That's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'm just wastelanding you. Hoping for the best. Oh, for the love of God, that targets that too. Right. I've played Legacy before once or twice. I think it was a Tuesday. We're just playing against a bunch of decks that are built to hose us this evening.
Maybe I'm supposed to save this to hose their death rate. I can see that being the case since I took them off a of land, but if they're using their death rate, that means hopefully I'm going to get to like hit them for five again next turn. <sighs> and like the actual answer here is like um you know we're, you're seeing these matchups and we're, we're running we're running into bad matchups and my opponent is also one and two so like, if we were, if we had been winning, we wouldn't be playing against decks like what my opponent is playing. And oftentimes, it's like, what you hope to do. Like, my opponent's deck is kind of clunky and slow and awkward, and they're going to get hosed by the combo decks a lot of the time. So, you just, like, hope to win your first match and not get paired against them or run a little bit hot when you do. And then a lot of times, you will get to slide right past these. I am the worst nightmare, na 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 na. This is probably going to be the last match of the night if we lose again. Definitely a tough matchup for us. Na, 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 Uh, most likely, Cliffy. I guess I could block the Leovold. Is that like a game-winning play? <laughs> he heard Chet's suggestion to block the Leovold and said he didn't want to attack with it this turn. Uh Okay. As far as good draws go, that one was up there. Hopefully we don't get forced. Okay. This is why true name's good. I have a, I had a third name, third true name nemesis on my board for a little while, and maybe it should be there. It's very good in these matchups where like where they're good against us, basically. Nanova came, Nanova came, just na 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 na. Abrupt decay, another goif, sure. <laughs> Am I dead if I attack with this? Can go block, 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 and then take five. Dead if I attack, right? Maybe we can induce a misplay here. I don't think we're winning if we just, like, keep waiting. Packed up bags and left home. I 
think I'm going to brainstorm and try and hit a bolt. This says we can only draw one card per turn, right? Yeah, so I can brainstorm into a bolt and then kill them. Yeah, a 10 out of 10 should have traded this insect celebration for the Leovold that turned it attacked. It didn't even occur to me that this had the same, this had enough power to block that. I'm just clicking too quickly. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't won many matches tonight, Ryan. We've won two matches, in fact. We've just played against a bunch of, like, anti-Delver decks. They are out in force. Of course, we're also, like, down here in the 1-2 bracket where, like, all the derpy fair decks that, like, beat up the, like, lose to combo have lost to combo and then, like, now get to derp on us. I think this is okay. It's got our Culligan's Command in it. I've got a Probe. And then a Brainstorm. This is gonna be my last batch of the night. That I mean we're probably losing, and then we're done with the league. I guess if we win by some miracle, we will we'll play the last one, but... Alright. I mean, like, as someone who's, you know, done a lot of statistics as a math background, like, we ran into a bunch of bad matchups with this. If we change decks, we could very well run into bad matchups with those. Like, that's just how variance works. That's pretty decent. Um, I'm going to start by brainstorming. I feel like I want to start by brainstorming. Because if I hit, like, fetch plus bolt or even just bolt. If I hit bolt, I can bolt this, waste this. Fork bolt. Alright. Uh, yep. So, I'm going to put these back for now, I think. Kill that. Kill the one from your graveyard. Kill this. I can be the one. And then next turn, I can go shock your death rate shaman. You discard a card. Through and on. I guess I could also just go therapy death rate grim lava mancer. I don't hate that. I guess I don't hate that. I'm just going to take the Leovold out of their hand now so we don't have to deal with that card. Shardless Agent, Wasteland, Brainstorm, Push. Do I want to trade one of these Death Rites for their Shardless Agent? Probably. It's probably a worthwhile exchange. Even if say is Grixis Delver as aggressive with his mana denial as Rug Delver? Not always. It depends. It depends on like your positioning in the games. Some of them are a little bit more aggressive because they play um, Stifle as well. 
Oh, are we gonna go push wasteland? That's gonna be gross. Take me off my red. I guess I could have played around this. Am I not getting rid of my death right? I could have sacked this instead. It's a good one until we lock ourselves. Yep. Um, not casting that one soon. I don't have an educated opinion of food chain. Haven't really played with or against it. I think I've played against it like one online. Hooray. Yep. Ding. We'll never let you fall. I'll stand up with you forever. This is a good, good, clean, pure game of Legacy here. It's currently turn six. We've There's three total lands in play. When I think Legacy, these are the games I think of. Big fish. No reason to play around days in this matchup. I guess, I guess, I guess I might want to bolt something. I'll keep the Grim Lava Mancer in my crypt because there's a K command in my bin. Or there's K command in my deck. Pick you. Dead next turn to the bolt and the death rate activation. Sure. I don't think they have any draws in their deck to let them come back from this. I think this is right. I don't think I'm any of those. This, this click might be better than I think. I guess they have Strix in their deck, so maybe that's not strictly true. I'm just gonna submit. It's a revolution, I suppose. Fit right in. Whoa, whoa. This hand's fine. These cards could be anything. We could brainstorm one of these lands away, potentially. Man, you know what I love doing? Rebbing brainstorms. Holy crap. There's the threat we're missing. It's even one that can't be abrupt decayed. That one. Counter it. Oh, they even fetched a non-basic for us. That was nice of them. Hello, opponent. Let me introduce you to the legacy format. Uh, it'd be a shame if something were to happen to that land. That land that you worked so hard and really wanted. Um, so we'll go dupe, 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 draw. Draw the probe, and then next turn we can draw the K command and then fetch away that other land. Welcome to legacy, opponent. Please enjoy your stay. I agree. The opponent's keep does not seem great against my Wasteland Counterspell deck. I would like to probe you. Their hand is so good! What a great Hearthstone hand. Do you imagine how good their hand would be if they just got a free resource every turn? 
Man, how do we ever beat the card advantage from Ancestral Visions? I feel like that's a card that shouldn't be in their deck post board against us. Like, the rest of their deck just buries us so hard. Why do they need that card, too? Alright, I mean, I guess we're finishing the league. See if we can run it out. Passing. Passing. Inhibitions. Baby, there's nothing holding me back. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jeff Hoagland. I am a TCG player and content producer, and welcome to my Twitch stream or possibly my YouTube channel in the future. That's right. If you didn't catch all of tonight's stream, this is our ninth match with the Ducks. It's going to be our last one of the evening. I archive all of my streams on YouTube, so you can definitely check them out there. That's linked to the stream information. If you're on mobile, tap the screen and press the little I. If you're enjoying the content, I'd encourage you to show a little support by using the follow button there on your screen. It doesn't cost you anything. It helps other people find my stuff. If you're really enjoying the content that you see and you want to help me produce more of this content, there's a couple different ways you can do that. The first is by subscribing on Twitch or becoming a patron on Patreon. Both of those help support myself financially directly so I can spend more time producing content like this and less time doing other things. You can also support my content by supporting my sponsors. You're probably going to be buying some of this stuff anyways, so you can help me out by buying it from them. MTGOTraders.com would love to buy and sell magic online cards with you. If you use code Hoagland PayPal at checkout there, you'll save 8% on all of your orders. InkGaming.com would love to help you customize your gaming experience. They do things like custom play mats and mouse pads and stuff like that. You use code Jeff12 there, you'll save 12% on your purchase. MTGCardMarket.com buys and sells physical magic cards. And if you use code Jeff12 at checkout, Jeff10 percent at checkout there, you save 10% on your order. They also have a lot of great written content on MTGCardMarket.com. I write there weekly, as well as Dylan Donegan and Kevin Jones and a couple of other well known writers. And finally, SpareDuck.com, you can rent any physical, standard, or modern deck from. You can rent for a weekend up to an entire month. And if you're someone like myself who changes decks quite often, it's a great service. So you can kind of do a variety of things, not deal with buy lists and all that other mess. It's really convenient. They mail you the deck in a uh, prepaid box back. So you just get the deck, you play the cards, and then when you're done, you put them back in the box and you tape it up and you just drop it in the mailbox or send it to your take it to the post office and then you send it back at any rate we're back with the final match for the night and we have a pretty reasonable keep on the draw i'm going to do a double check here make sure my opponent's not known for playing combo so i'm gonna this is something you could do online so i'm gonna type my opponent's name into an mtg goldfish search so lexor 19 they don't have any legacy daily results but they have a bunch of results with vintage and or with shops and taxes and vintage so probably something fair eldrazi that makes sense okay one squid billy i actually haven't played this matchup since i started playing delver force is a good draw um i think i'm gonna go I'm going to lead on Probe here and see what they have. Get to make educated decisions with how we're sequencing things. Do they have a cavern. That's bad for us. They can't cavern out the Thought Not Seer next turn, though, so we will get to force that if they just want to jam it next turn. They do not have a Wasteland, so I'm going to lead on the, the Valk since they don't have a Wasteland. Go. Why did I start playing Delver? I just wanted to get a feel for different decks in the Legacy format, and this is objectively considered one of the best decks in the format, so I wanted to give it a try. Somebody I can kiss. I know something just like this. Do -do -do. And 10 out of 10, you should always do Wasteland the Delver player like this. And this is actually good for us, though, right? Because, like, we have more lands in our hands, and, like, I kind of didn't want the Volk to get Wastelanded, but, like, I'm going to get to go Delver, like... I mean, you can play Legacy on Magic Online. I mean, that's a big, big draw to Magic Online is the fact that you can get games in basically any format at any time. I'd be lying if I said... People ask me why I started playing Magic Online again. It's it's convenient. Like, that's just the honest truth. It's just convenient. <laughs> now, the real question here is, if they play Thought Not, am I forcing pitching the true name or am I forcing pitching the Brainstorm? Just like this. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 sure. So they're going to Thought Knot off the cavern next turn, basically what's happening here. D 
Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. All right, so... So I can't... I can't force anything next turn. I think I'm just supposed to brainstorm. So like... This is kind of interesting. If we brainstorm and hit a third land, we can actually hide the true name on top of our deck so they can't take it, and then we can play it. And, like, these are a three-turn clock regardless because they can't play Endbringer next turn. Yeah. So I think what I'm supposed to do here is I'm supposed to play this and fetch before I brainstorm, hoping to hit a land. So that way I can hide the true name for next turn and still play the bolt this turn. All right, and that's exactly what we did. Sweet. Um, so I think we're going to bury Culligan's command two cards down, and we'll put the true name on top of it. And then we'll go ahead and attack my opponent for six here. Like this. Boo doo doo. I think I'm just going to go ahead and bolt this endless one in response here and just preserve our life total. Because, like, they're taking six next turn. I was like, yep, sure, thought not resolves. Probably take my Pyromancer or my Ponder here. I agree. Don't want to give them an extra card. Like, we have this game on lock in two turns, like the true name's coming down too, so. Wasn't Bolt plus K Command Lethal. Hey! Hey, it was. Good catch. I did not, I did not notice that. I was so, I was so caught up in hiding the... Hiding the true name. I don't think it's going to matter. Yeah, they're just dead, but you're right. We could have killed them that turn. They're, they were technically getting another turn there. Whoa. 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 All right. What gets cut in this matchup? Longer you're alone. I feel like those are the cards I want. Grudge, Fire Covenant, Dismember, Edict. Therapy's probably not stellar. Their hand likely gets empty pretty quick. No, I appreciate that. Like, I'm definitely, like, and I, I call out my mistakes when I catch them after the fact, so. I think Daze is medium, especially on the draw. Build this house. I think the Lava Mansion's not good enough. I could see that. I think Daze is fine on the play, because we can Daze a Chalice on their turn one. So it's probably fine. Memory. Whoa. Uh, I actually decided not to go, Bilbo. I couldn't find a deck that I liked playing enough, and, like, I can just play the Legacy Challenge from home tomorrow, and playing the Legacy Challenge on Magic Online is better EV than playing an in-person modern tournament. Uh, this is definitely a keep. We got a grudge for, uh... We don't have a red source, but we have a grudge. Wasteland's reasonable in this matchup. Uh, but Grim Lava Mancer plus Lightning Bolt teams up to kill things that we care about, which I think is reasonable. Sweet. We're not getting whatever it on one. Are you... Ah, oh, Blood Mooning us, right? Oh, Chalice. We are getting Chalice. Okay. That's fine. We're going to Wasteland them and then hope to draw a Red Source here at some point. Yes, we are. Yeah, the amulet deck just isn't consistent enough. Which is unfortunate. I was enjoy I was enjoying playing the amulet deck a lot. It's just not not consistent enough. Well, 
I need to just draw a red source at some point. We don't have a ton of those. Oh, I don't have any lands, so send me up. Shake it till you see it, and when the fantasy is become your legacy, promise me a place. Maybe we built this house on memories. Shake it till you see it. Welcome to Legacy. Please enjoy your stay. Pew. Even if they go Soul Land second chalice here, we can still play Pyromancer and then just do stuff and things. It should be pretty dead at this point. If we hit, if we hit a force here, they're just going to get slaughtered. The main deck call against command is also a hedge against chalice decks, which is nice. People have been asking about the main one main deck call against command. It hedges that as well. I would not like to do that. Let's uh, play Pyromancer and then start doing stuff. Probe first. Alright. From 2-6 at one point into the, the old 3-2 finish in this league. We do have a green source. We have one one tropical island in the deck list. I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night, folks. We streamed uh, almost two entire leagues, basically two leagues. We scrubbed out of one of them, but we cashed the second, so that's not terrible. Yeah. So there's uh, there's links to the deck list down below the stream. Uh, I really appreciate everyone hanging out here tonight. Um, remember to use that follow button. Uh, thank big thank you to new subscribers and the resubs. Had a 20 month resubscriber. That's awesome, Trey. I appreciate the continued support. Remember, if you missed any of tonight's stream, if you didn't catch all nine matches, I'm gonna have the archive uploading to my YouTube channel, and it'll probably be posted tomorrow morning. I'm not gonna stay up too much later tonight. It's already 11 o'clock. Um, what was I gonna say? So I did that, I did that, and then, uh, oh, if you want to see more Grixon Silver content, you haven't seen me streaming before, check out my YouTube channel now. There's other content posted on there. Let's find someone to give a host to.